Okay, let's also get on a fundamental view on the market. Rajneesh Kumar, Executive Vice President at uh, Fullerton Securities, joins us live on the show. Afternoon, Rajneesh. Uh, what's your sense? Do you think we're likely to be in this trading range of about 5,300 to 5,700 in the near term? Yeah, if you look at uh, the way market moved up, it was largely driven by liquidity coming in from overseas. And uh, our sense is we don't see uh, that liquidity flow get ab abating in a hurry uh, in the next uh, you know, few weeks as it unfolds. So we think it's quite likely that while we know we are seeing some kind of a breather in the market where we have seen some correction, uh, but probably the market will... Uh, start moving up again and my sense is that it will probably move beyond 5500 and probably uh, move uh, towards uh, 5700 as well. Rajni Sai, afternoon. How would you explain the weakness that the entire banking right. pack is suffering right now? Is it just a technical adjustment or do you think there are renewed concerns on asset quality by some of these names? See, some of the banks have definitely run up much faster than uh, uh, they should have and I would think uh, I would put some of uh, PSU banks uh, in that category because there is a uh, you know, significant bit of fear on their asset quality worsening in coming period uh, and uh, uh, you know probably that the, the kind of run-up that we saw was not justified uh, but at the same time uh, you know a lot of it is also liquidity driven so it's not necessarily driven by fundamentals you know this whole market rally has not really been, uh, in, in some sense, not really been driven by fundamentals as well. So uh, I, I don't foresee too much of correction happening also because, uh, you know, RBI policy will probably see some kind of monetary easing post-budget and that will itself give a flip to the banking stock. So, you know, except for some aberrations, uh, especially on the PSU bank uh, side, I'm uh, pretty bullish on overall banking pack, pack right now, considering that monetary easing is more likely than not. Mm -hmm. Rajneesh, uh, what about the FMCG pack? Uh, it was uh, really the one that outperformed the defensives in, uh, you know, in all of last year. But right now, looking a little soft, would you look at uh, some opportunities to buy in the FMCG pocket as well? The FMCG, we are, uh, you know, I think uh, companies will do well. Uh, you know, considering that economy is likely to do well, uh, I don't see uh, you know any uh, problem in terms of the industry doing well. But I think the valuations are quite rich now. So very, I, I would, I find it, I struggle to see an opportunity in FMCG right now. Hmm. Rajesh, what about uh, power as well as real estate? Because these were pockets which held out pretty well year to date, so to speak. At least last month, they have been the biggest performers. Uh, does it look like this is just a technical correction, a profit booking that we see? Or, uh, you know, uh, is it actually time to genuinely book out of these spaces because they were not really running on constructive fundamentals, so to speak? The power sector, you know, for, for power sector, there the basically been two issues. One was around uh, this whole uh, uh, import price of coals going up uh, so significantly that their whole business proposition uh, was uh, uh, suddenly turned on its head. And the, on the other hand, you have this whole reform issue where uh, state electricity boards are not able to pay up. Now, I think as far as the fuel is concerned, I think that seems to be getting taken care of. But I think there is a lot to unfold yet because... It's one thing for the government to say uh, that, you know, it will be done and will be done through Coal India. But how will it pan out and in terms of cost and who's going to bear the cost and how uh, such a huge differential between, uh, you know, Coal India's pricing of coal versus what is the pricing of imported coal is going to be taken care of. So these fine prints, uh, you know, uh, is not yet clear uh, right now. So, but it's definitely moved in the right direction and market has rightly uh, you know, given a positive uh, impetus to the stocks on the basis of that. But the reform side is not yet very clear in terms of uh, how will the power which is produced will get paid for. So I think there's still a lot of uncertainty in power. Uh, but I do suspect that because of this whole uh, positive uh, feeling coming into it because of Government of India's uh, actions on especially coal front, uh, we would still see some bit of sustainability on prices and people will wait for more things to unfold. But real estate, I think, you know, if monet as and when monetary easing happens, especially some, some of the companies which are relatively better off, let's say like a DLF, would probably perform quite well. And I would think that selectively one can bet on real estate at this point in time.
Would you also selectively bet on aviation at this point in time or do you think it's a sector that one should just completely avoid? Um, sorry, could you repeat your question? Uh, I was asking you if you would selectively right bet now. on aviation as well or do you think it's a sector that an investor should completely avoid? No, I think right now it will be a little too early to bet on aviation. Uh, so I would not bet on aviation and I would not uh, recommend investors to bet on aviation right now.